Hey everybody, it's Miss WC. Today I'm all alone in the art room, but in your class, we're gonna be working together on value today. The word value has a lot of meanings. It could mean the importance, worth, or usefulness of something or somebody. It can be a person's principles or how they behave, or it could mean the monetary or money worth of something. In art, we define value by how light or how dark a color or hue can be. Values are best understood when we see them on a scale or a gradient from dark to light. Have you ever gone to the hardware store and seen paint on a swatch like this? Okay, I bet you have. Maybe you were painting your house one time and you had to decide what color you wanted so you got to choose from these paint strips. Okay, these are value scales. Okay, they are colors going from dark to light. Okay, this is how we understand value. When it's one color and it's all the darkest and all the lightest colors of that same color. All right, so some people say that value is the most important part of a painting because it can help create the illusion of depth or three dimensions when you add shadows and shading and that's adding value to it. So for this project, we are going to explore mixing paint to create a value scale of skin colors. We also are going to talk about how we all have importance we all have worth and we all can be useful and we all have value no matter what color our skin is. So for this project, if you are working at home, here's what you're going to need. If you have paint, great. That's what we're going to use. We're going to use peach and brown to make our value scale. But if you don't have these colors, you really could use any color to make a value scale. You can, um, Start with one color and keep adding just a little bit of darker a, a version of that color or like a, the tiniest amount of black to that color. Or you could go the opposite direction and um, start with white and keep adding a little bit more and more and more of your color. All right. So you don't have to have skin tones for this project. Just um, any color will do just to show me that you know what a value scale is. Okay, if you want to use crayons, you can use crayons. So you could dig through your crayons and you could do like peach and then the next would be like a tan and then a lighter brown and then a dark brown. Okay, or you could do markers. Um, you could, um, any skin tone colors of markers? Crayola also has skin tone crayons, okay, that you could use. All right, but if you don't have any of that, no worries, okay? You can do this with any color. A value scale can be done with any color. You could start with baby blue, and then a light blue, then a regular blue, and then a navy blue, and that would be a value scale of blues, okay? So, um, the other thing you might want is to print off this sheet that I've posted online, so you can just print this off if you don't have this or don't have a printer, you could just use white paper and you could trace your hand with a pencil. But this is, I made this for you guys so you could um, do a little bit easier. And um, this is what we're gonna use at school as well, okay? So um, a paintbrush, we are going to use um, one like this, but if you don't have one like that, you don't even need a paintbrush. You can paint with your finger a little bit of a cup and um, we're gonna use glitter at school, but if you don't wanna use glitter at home, that's totally fine. Okay, um, glue, scissors, and then we're going to put ours on a black paper, but if you don't have black paper, that's okay too. You could just decorate around the edges here. All right, so here's what we're going to do to get started. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna take our peach, and we're gonna put just a little bit okay just a little bit not a lot let me show you how much i did 
about that much. Okay, not a lot. All right, and again, if you're working at home, you don't have to do it with paint. You could do it with anything that you can do color with. I'm going to bring you down to our paper. All right, and I'm going to paint my hand our lightest shade. This project is important that you go in order. Start with your lightest and then add a little bit of your darker color, a little bit of your darker color. All right. Now you can't do, if you're working at home, you can't do likes, I'm going to start with yellow and keep adding purple. Those colors aren't in the same color family, okay? They have to be kind of the same version of each other. You can add a little white or a little black to any color, but um, you can't do different colors of the color wheel and mix them. They'll just um, turn into a different color. All right, so we're going to add a little bit of brown. little bit. See how much? Okay, we're going to mix it. And then I'm going to do my next hand. And I've created the next darker shade of brown. Now guys at school and at home, I'm working really fast because I'm just trying to make it quick on the video. I want you guys to take your time and do nice paintings in your lines. We're going to add a little bit more brown. Swoosh it around. Squish, 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 squish. All right, now we have our next shade. A little darker. Each time we add brown, our color gets a little darker and a little darker. All right, last time. A little more brown. Now our peach is almost used up, and now we have almost all brown. Oops. All right, I'm painting this quick, just so our video is not too long, but I want you to take your time. All right. Now we have a value scale going from light to dark, okay? Now, I'm gonna set this aside. And now it's all dry and ready for us. So we are going to cut our hands out next. I already cut some just so we could work a little quicker. I want you to ball up your trash and put your trash at the corner of your table and we'll wait till the end of class to pick it up, okay? Don't get out of your seat to go to the trash can right now. If you're working at home, you can do whatever you want with your trash, but I'm sure your parents would like you to throw it away. Okay, so I am going to start cutting, and I'm going to take my time cutting my hands on the lines. This is your time for cutting practice. I want you to follow your lines nice and slow. Remember, I'm going fast because I'm making the video. All right. Remember, with your scissors, your thumb goes in the small hole and your other hand fingers go in the big hole. And your scissor blades should always be cutting away from you. Okay. Don't twist your hand up. Hold, don't hold your hand in a weird way where you're all twisted and you're cutting sideways. Okay. Your blades should always be pointing away from you. And you're going to use your other hand to hold your paper and turn as you go. All right. Here we go. We got all of our hands cut out and I'm gonna ball up my paper and I'm gonna save it at the corner of my table so it can be picked up at the end of class. All right, now I'm gonna get my black paper and I'm gonna decide how I want to design my hands. I can do it in any way. I could do one, two, three, four, lightest to darkest. 
I could go in a long row. I could put them kind of in all going away from each other, kind of like this. That's fun. I could turn them in kind of a puzzly way like this, all going in different directions. Okay, it's totally up to you. You are the artist, however you want to do yours. All right, let me show you how much glue we're going to use when we glue these down. A little bit of glue is all you need. Just a little bit on each finger. All right, not a lot. Just a little bit of glue. Not a lake, not a puddle. And we're always gonna put glue on what we're about to stick down. We're not gonna put glue all over our background and then we don't know where the glue is and then there's glue on everything. Ah, no way. All right, we're just gonna put a little glue on what we're going down. And we're gonna stick it down. Okay, remember you don't have to bang. You don't have to do anything except nice and smooth to glue down. All right, so you're gonna get it all glued down. If you would like glitter at the end and you're working at school, you can put glitter where you want it. I'm going to put it right here. You need to make sure you have all of these other things glued down too, okay? Glue, glue and glitter are your last steps. So you can, I put a little heart because this project is all about love and kindness towards each other, no matter what color our skin is. Then, raise your hand. Okay, I will come bring you some glitter and I will put glitter on your project and help you shake it around. All right, but you have to have these other things glued down first. Glitter is your absolute last thing you're going to do. All right, everybody. Don't forget to ball up that paper, and we will see you next time. Bye.